and uh, Baroness Jenkin, uh, who uh, helped form the Woman to Win uh, movement uh, for female candidates uh, in the Conservative Party with Theresa May. Uh, now, a setback for women today. We're losing a woman prime minister. Is that right? Yes, and I'm afraid we'll be rather exposed uh, when, she, when, the, when the new front bench meets in September. Uh, when Corbyn is able to fill a full bench and it'll be quite a challenge for the new government to do so. So I think she has provided a lot of cover. Um, but I do think that one of her big legacies is bringing more women into the Conservative Party and I'm proud of that and I'm sure she's proud of it too. There is a lot more to do. Uh, but she Boris did make Johnson. real in, uh, inroads into that. I mean, Boris Johnson says uh, in the briefing uh, coming out from his camp, he's going to have more women than ever in the top job. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to seeing it and, and hearing it. But it's also about getting more in at the very start, and that's where he, they've got to put a lot of effort in. Watch what's going to happen over the next couple of weeks, isn't it? I mean, I do think at the very beginning, uh, when she was when she became Prime Minister, I did quite a lot of media. I said she would be We've diligent and hard-working. Yeah, you're right. Diligent and hard-working are two adjectives that everybody knows she really has stuck with. And I think the other thing I would say is that she has proved that you can achieve your childhood dream. And that too... I think so Boris Johnson. Yeah, that is true too. And we'll see which one of them comes out with the best legacy in the end. No. But it, I think there are, there are particularly girls at school today who will be thinking, whatever the, about the policies, that you can get to the top. You put in the hours, you do the work, you are diligent, and, and, uh, and they'll get do there. You think so?